AGJA, the African Group for Justice and Accountability, has spent the past week here in this very beautiful city of Arusha. capital of the continent of Africa. Our first day was very, very productive. We held the biannual strategic meeting under the leadership of the Honorable Chief Justice Mohammed Othman. The members of the AGJA at the meeting adopted the Kilimanjaro principles, which give more flesh to our mission statement. What we committed ourselves as a group was to champion the course of justice and accountability in Africa to enhance complementarity by building capacity. We dedicated ourselves also under the Kilimanjaro principles to supporting the International Criminal Court and also promote universal ratification of the Rome Statute. We recognize also that as a group we have the possibility facilitate, to mediate and promote dialogue between various parties within the ICC or even within, within the region in Africa uh, in order to promote justice and accountability. Of course, we were meeting against the backdrop of two very important events which occurred on the continent. One was the announcement by Burundi that it intended to withdraw from the Rome Statute and that its parliament had approved the withdrawal and the president had in fact signed such a declaration. This was followed shortly thereafter uh, by South Africa depositing an instrument of withdrawal from the Rome Statute. So in that context we were of course uh, quite concerned by these two developments and uh, as a result the, the group issued two separate statements, one on Burundi and one on, on South Africa. And in respect of both of them we did express our disappointment and concern Condemnation, I think, is too strong. We would like to see ourselves playing a kind of mediating role as well. Yeah, I, I, I think the deeper in concerns. The strength of AGJA lies in its membership and its mission statement. It is comprised of African individuals who have tremendous experience and expertise in the field of international criminal justice. AGJA is an independent, and an impartial, objective organization which has the ability to dialogue and mediate, to dialogue with African countries on this particular matter, to dialogue with the ICC, and to dialogue with, with all the states who have concerns uh, on this particular matter. So its, it's voice is one that can be heard and which can be effective. I, I quite clearly state somewhere in there that Burundi has not withdrawn from the ICC. Burundi has to store a proof. Precisely. But so it's not a decision to withdraw. So we we'll only be approved the bill that calls for the country to withdraw. If that calls for the country to withdraw, you can vote in Parliament in the legislature to support withdrawal or to call for withdrawal. But parliaments can't, with in and of themselves, withdraw well, should, a state should, from the wrong side. Shouldn't we, should we add a call to the president not to uh, not, not to endorse it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This yes. Is We've reached out to, to organizations, to civil society, to, to member states generally, and also to the states, the two states concerned, in order to, to try and, and, and reach a common ground uh, with them, uh, which will see the continuation, continued membership of these states within the Rome Statute, and uh, a resolution of whatever concerns they may have within the system of the Rome Statute itself. Mm -hmm.